What is going on everyone? I hope you were all having a fantastic day. So, unless you've been living under a rock recently, I'm sure you have seen a bunch of those different screenshots and videos of people customizing their iOS 14 home screens with widgets and custom app icons. And if you're anything like me, then you probably thought that this was kind of pointless and a bit of a waste of time. That was until I saw the custom finance widgets. So, after spending several hours tinkering with some of the best widgets out there currently and creating custom icons for my favorite finance app, I've created this which is my custom iPhone finance screen that gives me a complete and total snapshot of every aspect of my money. Now, truthfully, this did take me several hours to create, but lucky for you, I've already done all of the heavy lifting. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how I was able to create my own custom finance screen using the iOS 14 widgets, and more importantly, how you can create your very own custom finance screen to give you a better snapshot of your personal finances and reach your financial goals that much faster. I don't wanna waste any time because we have a lot to cover today, so make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, yada yada, Got it, you know the drill, and let's jump right into it. So the ability to add all of these custom widgets and app icons is part of the latest iOS 14 update from Apple. So if you haven't yet updated your device to iOS 14, then pause this video, make sure you're updated, and then we can get started. And also, if you're watching this and you're an Android user, then you've probably had features like this for a number of years, so I apologize for my overzealous excitement. All right, so we're gonna get started with a basic version of my final product that I showed you earlier that does not take long to create at all, and we'll work our way up to the fully custom app icons and all of that good stuff. So for most most of this video, I'm gonna have a screen recording over here that shows you exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, and I will also explain it to you out loud, but I am by no means a tech review channel, so if you are confused or have any questions on how I'm doing these things, then feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to get back to you, but there are also tons of videos all over YouTube on how to use these widgets and custom app icons, so definitely be sure to check those out as well. Today, I wanna to specifically focus on the various finance widgets that I have found, and then we'll talk about how to create some of those custom icons as well. So if you look over here, you'll see a pretty blank screen where I have dragged all of my favorite finance apps, or at least the ones that I use on a regular basis because to be honest, I actually had to get rid of a lot of them in order to make them fit on the screen and look nice. But if you don't know in iOS 14, you actually can hide an app in the app library, so you don't necessarily need to delete these apps, you can just remove them from the screen, which really helps declutter everything. So to get started with this basic screen, you can just press any of your apps and press and hold and it'll start to shake everything, and then you can drag all of those apps over to this screen, and that's how we're gonna get started where we can then add widgets and customize everything. And the number of apps that you have here is really going to depend on how many widgets you decide to use in the next step. But here you can see I'm going to lean heavily on the widgets features, so I'm really only going to have eight applications to start with. All right, so now that we have all of the favorite apps dragged onto the screen, we're going to add the first and most basic widget, which is probably going to be the most popular, and that would be the Robinhood widget. There will probably be a lot of other third-party apps coming out over the next few months, but Robinhood was really quick to the punch, and to add their widget, you simply need to obviously have a Robinhood account, and then you're just able to click that plus in the top left corner of your screen and scroll all the way down to where you see Robinhood and click on that. So at the moment you have four different options with Robinhood and they range in complexity and what information they're going to give you and they also range in how much space they're going to take up on your screen. So I've created a demo portfolio just to give you an idea of what this is going to look like and you can see that the first option which is the most simple and will take up the least amount of space is just going to give you either the price of a particular stock or the balance in your account as well as a small graphic that shows you the line chart. From there you can get slightly larger and slightly more complicated with a list of your few of your favorite stocks and even a list of a lot more stocks that does give you a lot more options but takes up a very large portion of your screen. So for my portfolio, I'm gonna go with the medium option which is actually the second one and in order to add this to my screen, I just click add widget. So now this is going to appear on your home screen and you can move it around and drag it just like you can with the apps earlier. So I'm gonna put it right here in the middle for now. While you're still in this custom moving mode, you can actually click on each individual widget and this will give you a lot more options on the information that you want displayed and even how you want it to appear, whether that be light or dark mode. All right, so this is a really basic place to get started, and if you do have a lot of finance apps that you actually do use, then you can always fill this bottom row in with some of your favorite apps. But it's all gonna depend on how you wanna customize your own screen, and you can also take advantage of the larger widgets that Robinhood offers. And that's the great thing about this entire process, because it is completely customizable, and you can constantly change things to find what you like best and what works best for you. All right, so now let's take it up a notch, and you probably saw these on the thumbnail of this video, and these are the widgets that allow you to see a snapshot of your budget, your credit card balances, 
and a ton of other great information. And the way that we're gonna do this is by using a fantastic budgeting app called Copilot. Now this video is absolutely not a review on Copilot, although we are gonna be using it for these widgets, but if that is something you would like me to do in the future, then definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Copilot is a subscription budgeting service similar to YNAB, but they are optimized for mobile use. And if you ask me, this is one of the best platforms that I have seen, and it has a lot of options when it comes to widgets. And they also have a free trial and a demo mode, which is what I'm using for the purposes of today's video. So let's look at what widgets they offer and how you can set these up on your own home screen. So obviously you first need to download the Copilot app and either create an account or go into the demo mode like what I'm doing in this video just to see if you like this feature. Once you've done that, you're gonna go back to your home screen and do the exact same thing that we did earlier in order to get into that editing mode. And this is simply done by pressing and holding anywhere on your screen. And once everything starts shaking, you're good to start editing. You can then hit that plus sign in the top left corner of your screen and scroll all the way down until you see Copilot. And there are a bunch of different options that cover various aspects of your financial health. The first one is obviously gonna be the smallest widget, which shows you one category of your monthly budget that you can customize within the app. And you can also select what budget category you would like displayed. From there, they get progressively more and more complicated, showing you multiple budgeting categories, a net worth tracker, credit card balance trackers, balance spending, and the last one, which again is massive and is gonna take up half of your screen. And this widget shows you a ton of different in-depth information on your spending. So I'm gonna stick with the smaller widgets for now, and I'm actually gonna add two of them. So the first is gonna be the small budgeting widget, and you can customize the category later on. And I'm also gonna go back and add the credit card widget as well. Now again, I am in demo mode right now, so do not worry, I don't have a ridiculous balance on a Chase credit card like it shows here. But obviously you're able to click on each of these and customize what category you wanna show, whether that be in this case, what credit card you want it to show, or what spending category you would like it to show. You could spend hours customizing all of the different options that we have here, so definitely try a few different things. But remember, you can always change this in the future. So for now, I'm just gonna go with the transportation category. All right, so this has filled my screen and you could absolutely stop here since this already gives you a full custom finance screen that gives you a snapshot of the different aspects of your financial health. But for those of you who wanna go a little step further and go more custom, there is one more step where you can actually customize each individual app icon and really bring everything together in one nice and cohesive look. Before I show you how to do that, two quick things. First of all, this is pretty time consuming. So if you are gonna go down this path and customize the individual app icons, then just know that it is gonna take a little bit of time. And secondly, remember, I am not a tech review channel. So if you do want a more in-depth guide on how to create these custom app icons, then there are tons of videos all over YouTube on how to do this, but I am gonna take you through my process on how I created this custom finance screen. So if we go back to the custom screen that we just finished a minute ago, you'll see that there's not a lot of differences between these because all of the apps and the widgets are exactly the same. All I have done is change the appearance of the app icon. So all of the icons you see here, I pulled from a website called Icons8, which has thousands and thousands of different app icons that you can choose from, depending on what apps you are adding to your home screen. And you absolutely do not need to just limit this to finance apps. They have all sorts of options. And they do have a paid option as well, but everything you're seeing here was completely free, so that's definitely an added benefit. So once you've selected the app icons from this website or a similar website, it's actually pretty easy to set them up, and it's really straightforward. All you have to do is go to the Shortcuts app, which is pre-downloaded on your iPhone, click the plus sign in the top right corner and hit add action. What this is actually doing is not replacing the app itself, but instead it's creating a shortcut that will take you to the app. And unfortunately, this is pretty noticeable when you click on these applications, because first it's going to go to the shortcut app for a split second before opening the actual application that you wanted to open. So for example, I'm gonna click on my SoFi icon and it's gonna briefly take me to the shortcuts app and then open up the SoFi app itself. Not the end of the world at all, but just something to keep in mind before you put in all the effort into making these custom icons. All right, so if we go back Back to the shortcut app, you're gonna search for what's called open app, since in this case, we want the shortcut to open up an app. From there, you simply choose which app you'd like it to open, click the three dots in the top right corner and hit add to home screen. Now you can change what title you'd like to appear on the home screen or just leave it completely blank for a really sleek and clean look. And from here, you can also add your custom app icon. So what I did is I downloaded all of the icons that I wanted on my MacBook from this website and then I just airdropped them to my iPhone and then it was really easy to just pick them from my photo library. And yes, it is gonna look a little grainy when you first pull it up, but don't worry, once it's shrunken down and it's a tiny little app icon, it's gonna look really great. So for the 
sake of this example, I'm gonna call this app Stocks. And once I've selected the icon that I wanna use, I simply click Done, and then you can go to the home screen and you'll see that that icon is right there waiting for you. So as you can see, you can click on that custom stock icon, it'll briefly open the Shortcuts app, and then it'll take you to the SoFi app, which is what my example is for. So again, this last custom step is definitely not necessary, but it definitely does look really cool once you've done it, and it does take a lot of time, but again, once it's done, it's done, and it's gonna look really sleek and clean. And you could spend hours mixing different app icons with various widgets and backgrounds to create something that is truly one of a kind. So really go to town with this. So sorry if this wasn't the most polished tutorial ever, but I did just want to quickly discuss some of my favorite finance widgets and show you how you could create your own custom finance screen that'll help you see a snapshot of your personal finances and reach your financial goals just a little bit faster. I am all about efficiency myself, and that's why I really like this. So if you did get value out of this video, it would mean a lot to me if you would consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel since this sort of video does take me a lot longer to make than the typical review. Make sure you share this with someone who you think could get value out of this content as well. And as always, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.